Uh, where are we? Long ago, a star fell from the sky. Huh? The Beyblades of today were born from the unknown power possessed by that star. That's the legend told where I'm from in Coma Village. The legend about the origin of our base, is that right? The story I'm going to tell you now took place several thousand years earlier than that. There was another star fragment that had already descended on this planet. Several thousand years earlier? Oh yes! That star fragment encountered the Black Sun, which orbits our Sun, in a 26 million year period. <laughs> During the star fragment's amazingly long journey to Earth, it absorbed a certain amount of negative energy from the Black Sun itself. What? That's not good! Luckily, the negative power of the Black Sun did not immediately fall into the hands of humans. As a result, a great Bay civilization, not unlike that of today, flourished several thousand years ago with the Bays born from that star fight. There was an amazing Bay culture in ancient times? Unfortunately, those peaceful days did not last forever and ever. There was one part of that star fragment that was filled with the power of the Black Sun that was brought to the ruler at the time. Hades. The negative power draws out a person's wickedness. Hades gathered the power of the Black Sun from the star fragment and created the strongest bay, Nemesis. Using that mighty power, he punished the people who did not agree with his tyrannical ways. He destroyed all those who dared to oppose him. He attempted to create an ideal world for himself and his twisted way. However, the power of the Black Sun was far greater than Hades could have ever imagined. Control Rampage, becoming the god of destruction, bent on destroying the entire world. What a deadly power it must be! Total destruction! At the time, the king of the neighboring country, Zeus, rose up against King Hades and his evil. He gathered five brave blader warriors together to face the god of destruction. These five Blader warriors also possessed bays that, like Nemesis, held the power of the Star Fragment. In order to defeat the power of the Black Sun, which had come from the far depths of space, they used bays that held the power of our solar system's planets. But having turned into the God of Destruction, Nemesis' power was incredibly strong. Even with the power of the solar system's bays, defeating the Black Sun was no easy feat. The battle between the five warriors and Nemesis continued with no end in sight. As that long fight dragged on, the warriors were injured, grew tired, and used up all their strength. But just when it looked like there was no hope left for the world, the power of our Mother Earth, Gaia, awakened! The five Blader warriors gained the strength of Gaia and were able to stand up once more. They gathered the power of Gaia and the power of the five planets together into one. At last, they were able to seal Nemesis away deep within the Earth, along with King Hades' soul. Thank goodness! And so, the world was saved from destruction for the time being. Huh? For the time being, you say? It was sealed deep within the Earth. But that does not mean that Nemesis was completely destroyed. <sighs> Remember this. A new light will become a new pit of darkness. When that time comes, the true destruction will begin. Right before Hades was sealed away, he made a frightening promise that he would return.
King Zeus gave this temple to one of the five warriors. Please listen to me now. The warrior was ordered to pass down the dark promise left by Hades to his descendants. So you're one of the descendants? You're related to a blader warrior who fought Nemesis on Earth thousands of years ago? Since then, star fragments have come. They have arrived on Earth many times. Once, it was known as the Orichelum of Atlantis. Once, it was named the Treasure of the Mayans and has always had a huge impact on humanity's history. That is why traces of the Star Fragment have been left on so many of the ancient ruins scattered around the world, I guess. So sad. Huh? Each time people have made the same mistakes and had the same evil battle. The power of the Star Fragment can be used for good or evil, depending on the one who possesses it. So people who want to use the power of the Star Fragment for evil, like Doji and Ziggurat, have always existed, am I right? And each time, the battle between good and evil is fought again. Nemesis has been secretly absorbing the power of those evildoers and preparing for its own revival. When a dazzling glow lights up the Earth from the heavens, a new Star Fragment will arrive and awaken a great power. That's the same legend from Coma Village that I used to hear from my grandfather. In order for Nemesis to be fully revived, it now needs to obtain the mighty power of the Star Fragment itself, understand? Using the ancient ruins around this temple, I estimated the time of Nemesis' predicted revival and waited for the day to arrive. And then, on that day, to prevent the evildoers from gaining that power, I use the power of the ancient civilization that is enshrined in this temple to split the power of the Star Fragment into multiple pieces. You mean to say that the Star Fragment did not split apart by its own will and power? But the destination of those pieces was definitely decided by the will of the Star Fragment. Huh? Unfortunately, I believe that the Great Evil already possesses one of those pieces. What Great Evil? Does that mean that Nemesis' revival has already started in the world? If Nemesis were to be completely revived once more, the five solar system bays would need to be gathered once again. The power of the Star Fragment has already been delivered to these five bays. One came to me, the descendant of King Zeus's right-hand man, and battle strategist. The Jupiter Blader warrior entered my bay, Jade Jupiter. One to the descendant of the courageous and daring army commander, the Saturn Blader warrior and his Saturn bay, Kronos. One to the descendant of the fierce attacker who always led the charge, the Mars Blader warrior and his Mars bay, Varieris. One to the descendant of the Venus Blader warrior, who made sport of Nemesis with his ever-changing techniques, and his Venus Bay, Quetzalcoatl. Ah, <gasps> Quetzalcoatl! And one also went to the descendant of the Mercury Blader warrior, who gathered the warriors together and used his wealth of knowledge and wisdom to support King Zeus and his Mercury Bay, Anubius. Those who possess the pieces of the Star Fragment each have their own role to play. You have done well to lead everyone here. So, so, so that means I'm... Whoa, you're also a descendant of the five Blader warriors who fought Nemesis in ancient times. That's amazing, Yuki. I'm really a descendant of those five amazing Blader warriors. It was not merely by chance that the Star Fragment chose me after all, was it? So the legendary Bladers are the descendants of the five Blader Warriors who possessed the solar system base themselves! Coolio! Aguma and King were also fated to get Star Fragment pieces from the very beginning by the same logic! I have a little question, pal! Huh? Yo, yeah, buddy! So then, what about my Baleon? Why did the power of the Star Fragment also enter Jinga's Pegasus and Ryuga's El Drago? What's the deal with that, huh? Oh! I guess Pegasus isn't a solar system bay either! The Star Fragment split into a total of ten pieces. Isn't that the correct number? If one of them is in the hands of the enemy, and the rest are with the five descendants of the Blader Warriors... Hey! 
That doesn't add up at all, does it? Dynamis? What does that mean? Whether the God of Destruction is allowed to be revived or not is up to the legendary bladers of the Four Seasons chosen by the new Star Fragment. Huh? huh? Come again? Legendary bladers, you say? When you say the Four Seasons, you mean spring, summer, autumn, and winter, right? A new light will arrive. A light that will choose new warriors to receive the power of Mother Earth. The stars of the Four Seasons will point the way to a bright future. <sighs> it was a very long time ago when the five solar system blader warriors borrowed the power of Gaia to seal away Nemesis. But the scars left by that battle were severe. Remember this. A new light will become a new pit of darkness. When that time comes, the true destruction will begin. This tragedy could not be allowed to happen again. However, it would be the duty of those born into that age to protect the world of the future. In response to the prediction of a revival left behind by Nemesis, King Zeus split Gaia's power into four parts, entrusting that power to the people of the future. He left behind a new prediction for the future, that when the threat of Nemesis' revival approaches, a star fragment will come again and descend on the bays of the Earth's beautiful Four Seasons, and now that prediction has come true. Of the four seasons? As the long years passed, many new bays named after the constellations of the four seasons were born. So that's how it came into being, my Pegasus. Oh, the Pegasus constellation of Cosmic Pegasus is an autumn constellation. Huh? And Kilia's Leon. The Leo constellation is a spring constellation. What? And of course, Mr. Ryuga's El Drago Destructor comes from the summer constellation, Draco. Mr. Jenga and the others are the legendary bladers of the Four Seasons. They've been chosen by the new Star Fragment. Are you sure? Therefore, the future's been entrusted to us to save. Those who possess pieces of the Star Fragment have roles to play. The role of the legendary bladers who inherited the Solar System Bays is to lend their strength in order to prevent the God of Destruction from going on a rampage in the event that Nemesis is revived. Ah! And they must choose their own future in the age in which they find themselves living today. That is the role of the legendary bladers who hold the newly created Bays of the Four Seasons. To choose our own future, you say? I always have. If their hearts are righteous, and if they desire to save the world from the God of Destruction, then I will follow the will of the heavens and fight with them. And if they desire the revival of the God of Destruction, then that is also the will of the heavens. So Mr. Jenga and the others must have goodness in their hearts. I get it now. Dynamis battled Jenga and Pegasus in order to see if they were truly bladers with good hearts. Well, then there's no problem. Of course we don't want the revival of the God of Destruction.